Something's crash landed over there in the canyon. I'm going to go hack into the ranger station cameras. Maybe we can get a closer look. Don't bother. Leave this to a professional. I'll just accelerate over there and check it out myself. It's hero time. Uh, go mighty Omnitrix power. So, Gwen. What do you have from those ranger station cameras? Oh, check it out. I think it's a piece of the Onatrix. I knew there was some reason my watch wasn't working. This robot looks like it must have used your Omnitrix crystal to power itself. Now the only question is, where are the rest? Someone sent that robot knowing that Ben was weakened. We walked right into a trap. Check it out! I can fit my nose so fast you can't even see it! I wonder if they know who they're dealing with. I don't get it. That thing knew us too well. Aren't most of Ben's foes trapped in the Null Void? That's what I'm worried about. Making Null Void portals is plumber technology, and nothing has ever escaped. Look! More drones! And they're attacking a group of Forever Knights. Forever Knights? Maybe Enoch is behind all this. Talk about getting caught between a rock and a hard place. Whose butt am I supposed to kick? I think... all of them? Sounds like a plan. Tell me, what's going on here? Whose drones are those? We were making haste toward the area known as 51. Lord Enoch leads our campaign there to smite the off-world infestation. Enoch is taking over Area 51? He seeks only to emancipate it. Lord Enoch will use the technology therein to power a weapon of worldwide deliverance. To stop the Forever Knights is to deprive the Earth of its last, best hope. Enoch doesn't offer hope to anyone but himself. We should find him before he makes a bad situation even worse. Area 51. This is where the government used to do all its covert alien research. This place has sure changed over the last 40 years. From the looks of things, I think the Forever Knights beat us here. We can't let Vilgax or Enoch get at those alien weapons. If it's alien weaponry they're looking for... I'd be happy to light the way. You fools! I seek to forestall the coming cataclysm! Your meddling has now placed our entire species in danger. Cataclysm? What are you talking about? If there's a danger to Earth, surely we can help. None of you possess the strength of will to do what must be done to save humanity. But now that I have the Omnitrix crystals, I shall use the alien's own weaponry again. Fear the universe! Enoch alone spells your doom! Omnitrix crystals can be used in weapons? Of course. The Omnitrix doesn't just store DNA. It holds incredible amounts of latent energy. Uh, I hate to interrupt the science convention here, but Enoch's getting away. Hmm. In order to weaponize the crystals, First, he'd need to find a place to generate absolutely massive amounts of electrical current. Some place like... Some place like... the Hoover Dam? Why can't you just go on a game show like all the other know-it-alls? 
Does it come to this? The bad guys have run out of cool places to attack, so they just pick a giant concrete slab out in the middle of nowhere? Well, looks like he's not here. I guess the trivia princess loses again. No, he's here. He has to be here. Thanks for playing our show. We have some lovely parting gifts for you. Well, there's one more bad guy who's all washed up. Get it, Grandpa? He's all washed up? We should have gotten more information from him. There's something much bigger behind this. Hey, look! Hmm... Isn't that another piece of the... Omnitrix? Why, yes it is! Whoa, let's see who I got now. Oh, great! The Rolling Wonder? Try not to trip into too many enemies. Alright, we got a mystery to solve. Let's bounce. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh no. Look out! Grandpa, get the door! I can't find my keys! Run faster! Hold on to your headgear! Twice in one day? What are the odds? Oh, everyone okay? Put it this way. I don't think things are gonna get much better. It's always nice to get in a good workout. Are we ready to go now? What? Are you kidding? Look at this place. You can't just leave all this junk lying around. Superheroes don't have to clean up their messes, Dweeb. It's one of the perks. Well, she does have a point, you know. You never see this in any of the comic books! Ah, San Francisco. I remember the summer of love. The plumbers fought a whole phalanx of nitromancers down on Hate Street. We saved the city, and all those hippies could say was, Oh, far out, man. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to some peace of my own. I'm gonna check out the latest games at the arcade, tour the chocolate factory. What about the art museums? The bookstores? The shopping? Finally, Finally a, a real, real vacation. vacation! Miss me, Tennyson? It's payback time. Kevin Eleven? What's he doing here? I thought he was in the Null Void. It looks like he found a way out and brought back a few souvenirs with him. It's time to welcome him home. What are you doing? For someone supposedly so smart, you say a ridiculous amount of stupid things. Well, while you were busy causing the world's biggest traffic jam, Kevin bolted into the forest and Grandpa went after him. Somehow I get the feeling that means I'm about to get splinters. shards. Kevin must have gotten Grandpa. Oh, you think? Now the question is, where's he going? Time to get some answers. You may have beaten me, but it doesn't matter. You're finally gonna pay, Tennyson. You and everyone else on this stupid planet. Oh, yeah? Well, next time, why don't you try picking on someone born in the same century as you? No, wait. Don't let them take me back. Save me. Tennyson! Oh man, just when I thought I'd lost all sympathy for that jerk, he meets a fate that he didn't even deserve. I don't get it. Where are all these null void portals coming from? I've got a theory, but first we need to be ready to face the proof. This problem is bigger than any threat we've faced, and we're short-handed. We've got to be... Hey, listen to this. The strange plant forms continue to spread all across the Northwest. Scientists believe it to be alien in nature. Stay indoors and avoid the infected areas at all costs. Guess where we're headed. I'm guessing it's not back to the chocolate factory or the video arcade. <sighs> Stupid alien plant life. What is this stuff? I'm a vegetarian and even I find it gag-worthy. Mmm, splug all gratin. 
When I was with the plumbers, we genetically crossed a slug with a Brussels sprout. Well, they didn't make much of a bioweapon, but you won't find a better source of vitamins. You feed your own grandchildren some 30-year-old failed genetic experiment for dinner? There is just so much that is wrong with that. Gwen, stop! Don't eat them! Oh no, Ben. This time I'm wise to your tricks. For once, you're gonna finish your vegetables. Not if they finish us first. Well, I finished all the yard work. Now where's my reward? They've reported another alien plant outbreak in Seattle. But don't worry, you'll have at least an hour to eat before we arrive. If this is a reward, I'd hate to see the punishment. Whoa! That thing is huge! It looks like whatever's been spreading all these plant pods around has taken root at the top of the city. And I'm supposed to fight that? Think of it as revenge for every vegetable you've ever been forced to eat. It's payback time. Yeah, sweet! Another Omnitrix crystal. Let's see who I've got now. Oh yeah, I'm a mean green butt-kicking machine. Of course! That plant monster must have been charged up by Wildvine's DNA. This can't all be a coincidence. Why are all of our bad memories suddenly coming back to haunt us? Unfortunately, the evidence all points to one individual. Why? Why am I surrounded by utter incompetence? I gave up the valuable crystals I stole from the Omnitrix so that the Tennyson boy would be destroyed! And the miserable peons that I so generously entrusted with those crystals are unable to do anything but fail me! You, however, have done well. Retrieving the Null Void projector was invaluable. Simply return to me the final item I need to complete my plans, and you will have both the Omnitrix and the boy to do with what you will. <sighs> yeah! All these rotting plants reek! Look who's talking! Don't you remember our talk about forearms needing four times the deodorant? Good job, Ben. Let's get back on the road. Ugh. All the places that we can camp, and you want to sleep at some creepy burial grounds? Hello? This is only like the most spiritually attuned location in the whole United States? Whatever. I think it's creepy. <laughs> Wait a minute. The superhero is scared? No, I just... Big scary monster's gonna come get you! <laughs> Ghost Freak? Oh, no wonder I was creeped out. Of course. I didn't understand how Vilgax got access to a Null Void projector. But if Ghost Freak is on his side... He could have slipped right past the plumber defenses. We better get to Mount Rushmore and see what's going on at the old plumber base. Besides, if we're gonna battle this growing threat from the Null Void and Vilgax, we're gonna need some extra equipment. Yes! I finally get to play with the big boy toys. So it's confirmed. Someone's definitely stolen a Null Void projector. All this high-tech equipment and you guys couldn't afford a burglar alarm? Psst, what were you guys thinking? The plumbers have the absolute finest security systems on the planet. There's no way anything could have escaped this room without one of these keys. Who says anything's escaped? <laughs> we're too late. Ghost Freak has taken the ethereal amplifier. 
What's that? Some sort of supernatural stereo? It boosts negative energy to dimensional proportions. Adapted to fit a null void projector, there's no telling how large a portal could be created. We've got to stop Ghost Freak before Vilgax gets his tentacles on that machine. How do we stop him? In all my years of fighting boogeymen, the best weapon has always been the same. Information. We'd better get moving. It looks like he's headed to the Windy City. I don't think anyone spotted us. It's so quiet here. Yeah, too quiet. What's that? Booyah! <laughs> Somebody need a helping hand? What? Did I scare you? No, they did! <laughs> You have done well, my Ectonurian ally. And one good turn deserves another. So much power! Yes, now go use it to claim the Omnitrix as your own, and finally rid us both of that insufferable brat Tennyson once and for all! <laughs> the fool thinks he is hunting me, but the hunter shall soon become the prey! <laughs> Thanks to your Omnitrix energy, the bodies I inhabit are stronger than ever! Ugh, so's your breath, but that's the least of your problems. Your little watch cannot save you now, Benjamin. I am beyond its power, and this time, there is no escape! Ugh, I need a vacation from my vacation. How about a little pick-me-up? Weird. The Omnitrix is finally at full power, but I can't access my other forms. It's like that last crystal had all its DNA stripped out. Scans are picking up vast traces of your alien DNA directly to the south. Let's go! If anyone's gonna use my DNA to wreak havoc, it's gonna be me. Uh-oh. Looks like there's a creature double feature playing at the drive-in. Well, get out your popcorn, cause I'm about to kick some butt. Mm, just when you think you're out of the dark, a bunch of creepy demented aliens try and take over your body. Ooh, look, kids! A historical reenactment of the Civil War. Lame! Hardly. This is the site of one of the most important battles in our history. Oh, really? So what side were the space mutants on? Very funny. The Civil War was fought between the Northern Union States and the Confederate... Huh? <laughs> yeah? Tell them that. All these mutation experiments point to one man. Dr. Animo. That freak's got my DNA, and I want it back. I didn't see him. He could be anywhere. We'll have to split up. Gwen, you check the main lab. But... I don't want to be alone. <gasps> Gwen! Gwen! Where's Animo? Where's Gwen? <laughs> Ask someone who cares, old man. We've got to track Clancy down. It's our only hope of finding Gwen. Good thing we brought along a big bug swat. Okay, Vermin. I'll ask you one last time. Where has Animo taken Gwen? You're too late. With his new base, the good doctor is all the energy he needs to return this planet to its rightful masters. And quite soon, your girl will be no more than just another mixed-up creature in his mutant menagerie. <laughs> Take it easy, Grandpa. We'll save her. I promise. Reports of giant creatures trashing New Orleans are all over the airwaves. Do you think Animo's new base is there? No. He'd want something more secluded. But it's probably somewhere close. You better corral those creatures while I try to track the rogue DNA to its source. Hope we get to Gwen soon. She's so gonna owe me big time.
I don't get it. Some of those mutants flew in from the ocean. Does it even make sense that Animo would have a base way out there? Well, Clancy did say that Dr. Animo's new base supplied him with energy. Of course! He must be on one of those offshore rigs. The plumbers saved one from a space squid back in 1970. They never asked this, but is the rust bucket seaworthy? Haha, <laughs> are you kidding me? That's the original all-terrain vehicle you're talking about. But just in case, grab a couple of buckets out of the storage hatch. Avast, ye swabbies, and swash me buckles. Someone's gonna get a taste of my four-fisted knuckles. Ben, stay focused. This isn't a pleasure cruise we're on. There's some sort of subspace transmission emitting from this refinery. I'll see if I can track it while you find Dr. Animo. Oh, yeah. I'm proud of you, Ben. Your cousin needs you, and you can do it. <sighs> right. Gwen! Grandpa! Ben! So, I see you avoided becoming a hideous mutant freak. Barely. Too bad I can't say the same for you. Whoa. What in the world was Animo doing with a satellite communicator? Talking to Vilgax. Apparently, they're on each other's buddy list. Squidface is orbiting the Earth right now. He's planning to suck the entire planet into the Null Void. We are gonna need help. Lots of it. Come on. We're heading to Washington, D.C. Cool. While we're there, do you think we can get a law passed making it illegal for you to enter a kitchen? I swear, those things are peskier than Clancy's cockroaches. Hey, you creep old monsters! There's only one DNA freak allowed around here, and that's my cousin. Yeah! I mean, hey! Hurry and get strapped in. We've wasted enough time already. Hey! I did just smack down all those uglies. How about a little credit here? Gwen, compliment your cousin. Nice watch. Where'd you get it? Null energy levels are rising everywhere. Apparently, a large portal just ripped open over the National Mall. Should we stop? We have to get to Washington. I don't like leaving those people in danger. You two keep going. I'll catch up in a flash. And try not to embarrass me while I'm gone. More portals. All communications are down. No way we're getting any official assistance on this one. But how can we get to Vilgax out in space without the government's help? We could just go and steal some rockets from Cape Canaveral. Given the circumstances, I don't see why they'd mind. Don't be an idiot, Ben. We can't just bust into a highly secure space launch facility and... Grandpa? I can't believe this place is deserted. Most of them probably went home to be with their families. We have to get to the experimental propulsion labs. Quick, hang a right. Okay, we found the rockets. Now what? Get me my welding helmet. That's a pretty stealthy flying, Grandpa. Yeah, it was almost too easy. But we don't have time to worry about that. Ben, you keep Vilgax busy while Gwen and I destroy the Null Void Projector. Don't worry, Grandpa. I'll make sure Squidface has his hands full. rest of the Omnitrix. Finally, I'll be whole again. Careful, Ben. That Null Energy is incredibly dangerous. The Null Void Projector is destabilizing. Without the Omnitrix crystals, it can't contain all that energy. We gotta get out of here!
All right, kids. Looks like we're ready to finally get back to our vacation. Where'd you like to go next? I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Grandpa, you think the rust bucket can fit through a drive through <laughs> <laughs> That's just the beginning. After I upgraded that Kinocellar and Drive Unit, I got more than 50% increase in power. Yep, I bet this baby could give any car on the road a run for its money. And yet it can't get us to the amusement pier before I'm bored to tears. I don't remember inviting you along. If you don't like the company, you can always just slap that watch of yours and fly, or ooze, or whatever, wherever you want. I'm not stopping you. Fine by me. Whoa, wait, not in the car! Ben, wait. Kevin, what is that? Your plumber's badge? No, but you're not far off. It's a tracking system. I installed it this last week. But it doesn't track plumber's badges. It tracks uncatalogued alien tech. Stuff that might be valuable. Um, you know, valuable for research and stuff. Yeah, well, whatever that is, it's powerful and close. I'd better check it out. You two go ahead to the amusement pier. I'll meet you there. No need. Looks like whatever it is, it's not far from the pier. We can be there in no time. Yeah. Kevin and I can stay in the car and watch you on the tracker. We'll keep in touch and give you a heads up if anything comes your way. Oh, great. Forever nights. I bet they're after the same thing we are. We need to get down there, fast. No problemo. Hang on. Hey! Who are you? Get out of here! It's too dangerous! I don't have time to explain, but it looks like we're on the same side. And I can help. Trust me. Alright! If you want to help, check inside the warehouse for more of these knights. I'll search the perimeter. Thank you for your help. You're just as skilled as they say, Ben Tennyson. Should I know who you are? No, but I know you. More accurately, I know, uh, knew your grandfather, Max Tennyson. Hey, next time why bother stopping? Just run me over. I'll keep that in mind. Who's your forearm friend? I prefer Tetramand. And the name is Gorvan. I presume this is your cousin Gwendolyn? And he is your... Kevin. Gwen, Gorvan is a plumber. He knows Grandpa Max. Your grandfather and I were acquainted several years ago. I have been away since then. I only just arrived back on Earth. And you're already making new friends, I see. Kevin, you don't have to be rude. Yeah, would it kill you to, you know, not be a jerk for once? Haven't we already learned our lesson about automatically trusting everybody? We don't know who this guy is. Just because he's got a plumber's badge doesn't mean he's really a plumber. No. Your friend, though not exactly tactful, is right. You deserve an explanation. First, I am indeed a plumber. Earth isn't my patrol sector, but I was dispatched here on an urgent mission. What kind of mission? Have you ever heard of a race of aliens that calls themselves the High Breed? Yeah. We've dealt with those creeps before. Grandpa Max was investigating them before he... Anyway, we've been running into them more and more often lately. Well, the hybrid are up to something here on Earth. They seem to be collecting pieces of alien technology, like this one. That's a Pyronite Plasma Oscillator. Even I wouldn't mess with something that dangerous. What do the hybrid want with that? Hmm. Good question. We're not sure, but there are several other alien components the hybrid are supposedly looking for. I'm hoping we'll find some clues along the way while we're retrieving the other components. You mean you want our help? Yes. That is, if you, your cousin, and your friend here wouldn't mind. My search would go a lot faster if you did the legwork while I coordinated from the local plumber base. Absolutely. You bet. No way. Two to one. Overruled. We're in. Excellent. The plumber's base is not far from here, in the mountains to the east. 
By now, the instruments have probably located at least one of the other components. Why don't you lead? We'll follow you. What? The shocks would be toast after a mile if I let that behemoth ride shotgun. I'm not wrecking my car for some alien I just met. He walked here, he can walk back. Anybody ever tell you your priorities are a little out of whack? Anybody ever tell you that walking is good exercise? Anybody ever tell both of you that your constant arguing is getting old? Oh wait, that would be me. Every day. Yeah, nice place if you're a bat. This place is huge. It was one of the largest plumber bases in the area when it was active. This is just the main level. The structure extends deep into the caves below. I could spend hours exploring this place. Unfortunately, there is no time for that. I have been using this detector to locate the alien devices I've been sent to retrieve. And it has found another one. A Patropian focusing array in a wooded area not far from here. That's Avalon Forest. Yeah, the Forever Knights have been using that place as a hideout for years. No problem, I'll take care of it. I better go with you. I know that place pretty well. I brokered a deal in the forest a while back. I know a thing or two about their security systems. About time you got here. So, what now? Wait for a break in the traffic and head through the gate? No way. You'd never make it through. What do you mean? It looks pretty easy to me. They're all forever knights. See what they're wearing? Yeah, armor. It's kind of a fashion statement with them. So? So, those gate scanners detect metal. You try to get through without armor, you'll get zapped into next week. So what now? We don't have any armor. Are you forgetting who you're with? Just say where you are, and I'll put the gates out of commission. Aw oh man, now what? Hey Gwen, you reading this? I was afraid you'd say something like that. This could be painful. Alright, Ben. The gates should be shutting down now. Yup. It's history. Thanks, Kevin. Good work. There's no way through that force field, Tennyson. You're gonna have to make your way across the tops of those pillars to get into the dragon paddock. And while you're at it, try not to get fried. Kevin! I found the array. And I suppose you're gonna need my help to get it, huh? Actually, no. It's just sitting there. Well then quit wasting time and get it so we can get out of here. Uh-oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. scared there for a minute. You're not so tough when you're all tied up. Um, on second thought. Man, this is seriously advanced. I bet it could focus a huge amount of energy. Hey, did they take away your manners when they gave you a plumber's badge? Sorry, it's just... Well, this is a very sensitive piece of equipment, and my instructions are to take care of it personally. I'll just take it below, for safekeeping. Thanks for your help. What's his problem? I don't know where he's sending us. There's nothing but sand out here. Gorvan, are we getting close? I'm sending the information to your screen now. 
You should be very close to the entrance. The entrance to what? I'm guessing the entrance to that. A military base? I didn't know this was here. It is a top secret missile base and test range. They were conducting weapons tests yesterday and something was uncovered. We think it's this. Hey, I know what that is. It's part of an industrial water conditioning system. They use it on aquatic worlds to lower the ambient temperature near geothermal vents. I thought your alien tech knowledge was limited to weapons and auto parts. What did you do, brush up against a scientist and accidentally absorb his brain? Hey! It's not like you guys get to corner the market on geekiness. I know stuff too. Like, well, a lot of stuff. Gorvin, are you sure it's in this base? Either inside or somewhere on the grounds, yes. And you need to hurry. I'm detecting lots of activity. Either the soldiers are trying to recover the device, or someone or something else is trying to beat them to it. All right, we're on it. Kevin, aren't you coming? Nah, maybe we should all just stick to what we know. You go and fight alien bad guys, and I'll just sit here and think about auto parts. So, now what? We can't just break in, it's government property. Well, that door is open, so it wouldn't technically be breaking in. You go inside and see if you can find a way to bypass the security systems. What about you? Me? I'm going in through the front door. Gwen, I'm at the main gate. I don't see any guards, but I can't get through without breaking it down. Any luck on your end? Not yet. These tunnels go on forever. Just stay where you are for a little bit. I'll let you know when I find a way to open it. Gwen, where are you? I've made it to the missile silos, but there's no way to get across. The controls to close the silos must be inside somewhere. I think I see another control room ahead. I'll see what I can do. Ben, did it work? Are the silos closed? Yeah, that's got it. See if you can find a way out to the east. I'll meet you there. Looks like you took the easy route. Lucky you. Easy? This place is crawling with aliens. Not to mention the fact that you're calling me for help every time you hit a roadblock. Yeah, about that. I'm standing on the edge of a canyon across from the missile range. There's some kind of beam blocking my way. I can see an entrance to the underground tunnels at the bottom. Any chance you could come out here, shut down the beam, and then, you know, do your thing and help me across? According to the map, this is the place, but where's the component? <laughs> you mean this component? Oh, great. Volcanus. I guess I should have known you were around. I spent my whole day plowing through your little pickaxe friends. You should really hire yourself some better minions. They have served their purpose. Now it's just you and me. And this time, you're not going to get away with stealing what is rightfully mine. I only wish you had brought your friend Levin with you. I have a score to settle with him as well. Well, he's not exactly my favorite person today. He's probably asleep in his car on the road outside the base. You're welcome to take your best shot at him. Of course, you'll have to deal with me first. Excellent. You managed to retrieve it. Yeah, not that Volcanus was too keen on the idea. Volcanus, yes. He has been meddling quite a lot in our business. He'll have to be dealt with eventually. What do you mean, dealt with? Oh, um, just that the plumbers will have to open a formal case. 
He seems rather troublesome. That's an understatement. Yes. Well, I'd better put this away for safekeeping. Hey, wait a minute! I'm telling you, that guy is trouble. I don't trust him. He's hiding something. Yeah, I think you're right. Look, I spent my share of time being the bad guy, and you kind of develop a sixth sense about... Wait, wait. You what now? I said I think you're right. I don't trust him either. Well, okay then. If you two actually agree on something, it's gotta be worth checking out. It certainly couldn't hurt to do a little digging. Yeah, but we better wait until we know he'll be distracted for a while. Then Gwen can hack into the computers in this place and find out what it is that Gorvin is hiding. While I was on my way back here, I believe I had a flash of brilliance. A legend in his own mind. Ow! Ah, there it is. It looks like it's in Parkville. That's a town near the mountains north of here. Yes, but I can't pinpoint the exact location. The power signature was particularly hard to find. It must be well hidden and shielded. What's that all about? It's nothing. The plumbers are requesting an account of our progress. Don't let us stop you. Radio's right there. I must report in person. My contact is meeting me shortly at the underground entrance below. I cannot discuss important matters on an unencrypted channel. You should go to Parkville as quickly as possible. All three of you. If you split up and search, you'll have a better chance of finding the object quickly. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, here's our chance. You two stay here and see what you can find in the computer. I'll take care of this one on my own. Gwen. I found the component in a hidden chamber under the fountain at City Hall. It looks like it's being used as a power source for a Xenocyte hatchery. A pretty good one, too. It's freezing in here. According to the plans on file, you're in an unused section of the City Hall sub-basement. I've hacked into their old security system. I'm looking at the room now. You need to shut down all of those power switches on the walls for the hatchery equipment. After you do that, you should be able to remove the component safely. Be careful. Where's Gorvin? Still hanging out with the bats downstairs, I guess. Yeah, and it's a good thing. I haven't gotten anywhere with this computer. Everything's locked out. I did find a file cross-linked to Gorvin's record that looks like it was recorded by Grandpa Max. But even that's password protected. What's the date on the file? Just over five years ago. Why? Hmm. Let me give it a try. I've been at this for hours. What did you type? Flutterworms. Yeah, Grandpa Max considered them a delicacy. Especially live. I totally forgot about those things. He never made you try them. Ah. Log file continued. Subject, investigation of the plumber, Magister Gorvin. Grandpa Max! Our ongoing investigation has tracked the missing alien tech to Gorvin. But he apparently disposed of or sold the items before we recover them. Gorvin has also disappeared. At this point, we have no way to know why the tech was stolen or who might have it now. We have issued a galactic rim-wide alert for Gorvin. He is considered to be extremely dangerous and possibly armed. With weapons, that is. If encountered, he is to be placed into custody immediately. End log. Gorvin is a fugitive. Earth is the perfect place to hide since there aren't any full-time plumbers stationed here anymore. And if he's still in the business of stealing alien tech... Then we've been doing his dirty work for him. We've got to stop him and find out what he's doing with all this tech. Kevin, why don't you... Where'd he go? Ben, look! He must have used his plumber's badge to open the door. I bet he went to find Gorvin. I better go after him. There's no telling how dangerous Gorvin will be when he finds out we know his secret. Whoa. Kevin? Kevin, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You're not gonna believe what I found. Gorvin has been hiding tons of alien tech, and it looks like most of it is hybrid stuff. But you haven't found Gorvin? Nah, not yet. But oh man, 
There are a ton of Xenocyte eggs down here. This is not good. Eggs? Kevin, just stay put and don't touch anything. Ben is a... Glenn? Hello? Whatever. That four-armed phony is probably bugged out. Not that I couldn't take him myself anyway. You think so? Well, my young meddling friend, I'm sorry to inform you that you aren't worth my time. I usually let my little friends handle the light work. Friends? What friends? Oh! Those friends. Right. Well, you guys must have loads to talk about, so I'll just take off now. Kevin! Where are you? Right behind you, Tennyson. No. Hey, Kevin, don't worry, I can help you. I don't need your help. I've never felt better in my life. You know, I forgot how much fun it is to be the bad guy. Uh, uh. Okay, Kevin, let's try this again. So not fun. Oh, my head. What happened? I found you in here. You were antisocial, angry, and had a xenocyte stuck to you. And now I I'm back to normal? Yep. No more xenocyte. Now you're just antisocial and angry. Nice. Well, while you've been messing around in here, Gorvin's getting away. You're welcome. Whoa. You're in no shape to fight. Get back up to the control room when you can and stay with Gwen. I'll track down Gorvin and take care of him myself. Okay, Gorvin. I know you're here. It's time you told us why you lied to us, and what you're doing with that alien tech you tricked us into stealing. <laughs> I'm through talking to you. You and your friends have served your purpose. I have what I need, and soon it will be in the hands of my... Associates. The hybrid? I thought you were smarter than that. As soon as they get what they want, they'll eliminate you along with everyone else. They think we're all inferior beings. That's none of your concern. I'll worry about them. You need to worry about yourself. I'll give you one chance. Leave this place and mind your own business. Otherwise, you'll end up like your unpleasant friend, Kevin. Sorry, no deal. I'll just have to take my chances. Besides, you gotta know by now that I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Indeed you do. But I know all about your tricks. Your grandfather was no match for me. And neither, I suspect, are you. So you get anything out of the forearm felon? No, but he's at a commission. I found some holding cells below. Guys, I've scanned the whole base. There's no sign of any of the tech that Gorvin tricked us into stealing. At least Gorvin didn't have a chance to give that to the hybrid. Yeah, it's a good thing too. No telling what somebody could do with that if they were up to no good. Um, you guys mind telling me what exactly that is? It's called the sub-energy. It's a subatomic energy source. One of the most powerful in the galaxy. An alien race gave one to the plumbers years ago. It was stolen by an ex-plumber named Driscoll. Sounds like the plumbers should have a better employee screening process. We thought that was the only sub-energy on Earth, but this can't be the same one. Ben destroyed that one. Well, wherever it came from, we need to make sure it doesn't get into the bad guy's hands. If you destroyed the last one, you can take care of this one, right? Oh, man. I was just starting to be able to eat spicy foods again. Your interference has forced me to deal with you, Vermin, directly, and obtain this energy source myself. No matter. 
When we have completed our objective, you and your entire genetically inferior race will no longer be in any position to meddle in the affairs of the hybrid. What did he mean by that? We'd better find out. Gwen, can you track him? Normally there'd be no way to do it, but the sub-energy is so powerful I should be able to find it if it's anywhere within a thousand miles. Got it. Oh no. Look at this. This is a satellite view not far outside Bellwood. A hybrid weather tower. No big deal. You've dealt with those before. Not one like this. Okay. That's bad. If one weather tower can freeze a whole town... An array like this one could freeze the entire coast. Maybe even half the country. We're responsible for this. We let Gorvan trick us into getting those components. And now... It's up to us to destroy that weather array. These paths the hybrids cut through the fields might wreck the environment, but they sure make great roads. Not to mention, they lead right where we need to go. I guess we just drive right up to the weather array and start kicking alien butt. Looks like the butt kicking might start before we get there. Maybe we can throw them off if we split up. You guys head down the road and see if you can find another way through to the array. I'll take care of these guys and continue on foot. Well, this is a team, and I vote we stick together. Two to one. Overruled. Wait just a minute. Yeah, kind of stinks when you're on the losing end of that, huh? Ben, we're almost at the weather array. Are you getting close? I'm not too far away, but I think I might be able to disable the array from here. How? I found the hybrid command ship. And it looks like it's the focal point of the circuit patterns. Maybe if I can somehow get the ship to take off, it'll break the circuit and shut the whole thing down. You're planning to take on an entire hybrid command ship alone? I'm gonna try. You and Kevin keep going. If this doesn't work, you'll still have to shut down that array. Gwen, I found the entrance to the ship. It's open and there are no guards around. Guess I lucked out. Ben, you sh go inside. Care probably a trap. Gwen? I'm losing you. Must be interference from the ship. Ben, don't go in... Sorry, Gwen. I can't hear you. I'm going in. I'll contact you as soon as I can. Now all I have to do is find the autopilot controls, activate them, and get out before the ship takes off. Piece of cake. <sighs> wow. I thought the rest of the ship was cold. Those heat exchanger columns must keep the hot air out. That's why it's so cold in here. The hybrid are weakened by heat. Well, at least nobody's home. I can just activate the last of the autopilot panels and be on my way. And those panels must be... On the ceiling! I guess I have to start thinking in zero gravity terms. Maybe that switch does something that allows the crew to get to those ceiling controls. You! So it is you who has been tampering with our vessel. The impure creatures of this planet cause much trouble for such an obviously inferior race. And you, Ben Tennyson, are the most troublesome of all. Yeah, that's what all my teachers used to say when I was a kid. But I'm pretty likable once you get to know me. Insolent creature. You shall pay the price for meddling in the affairs of superior beings. You're out of here. And as soon as you are, that weather array is offline. Permanently. <laughs> your actions only serve to prove the inferiority of your species. Removing this vessel from the circuitry grid does not deactivate the weather array. The ship's departure initiates the startup sequence. <laughs> oh boy. You see? You might have set back our plans the last time we encountered you. But this time, it is you who have set our plans in motion. You gathered the components needed for our weather array, and you made sure the array was activated in a timely manner. And now... Now! You will watch as your people slowly freeze to death as our weather array makes this portion of your planet suitable for habitation by the one true race! Oh no! What have I done? I've got to 
get over to the weather array and help Gwen and Kevin destroy that thing before it's too late. Did you hear me? I think it's a trap! Ben, don't go into that ship alone! Sorry, Gwen. I can't hear you. I'm going in. I'll contact you as soon as I can. Ben! Ben! Kevin, we have to go and help him. I don't know if that's such a hot idea. I think that thing is almost at full power. If we go and help Ben now, we'll never get back in time to stop it. That's probably the control room floating up above the array. I don't see any way to get up there. What should we do? Go after the towers, I guess. Looks like there's a force field protecting each one. We'll split up. Divide and conquer. I'll head out to the east and you head west. We'll circle the closest tower, take out whatever equipment that generates the force field, and we'll meet on the other side. I hope Ben will be alright. Don't worry. He can take care of himself. He's pretty tough. And if you ever tell him I said that, I'll deny it. Come on, let's get going. How are you doing? Um, I've been better. Can't talk now. I've got company. Be there as soon as I can. You okay? Fine. Looks like we took out the force field on Tower 1. Yeah. And I still don't see any way to get to that control room. Me neither. If we can't get inside, how do we stop this thing? We could try to take out the tower, now that the force field is down. Maybe. Uh... No way. Even with our combined powers, we can't destroy that thing. It's just too big. Did someone say big? About time you got here, we were starting to think we'd have to do all the work around here. Ben you have to hurry. If you don't destroy those towers soon, I don't know if we'll be able to reverse the damage. No problem. I got this covered. Yes, that's it. Piece of cake. Not so fast, Tennyson. Looks like the control room is still up and running. Well, not as up as it used to be, but... We need to make sure none of this tech gets into the wrong hands. I should be able to access the shutdown sequence from here. Um, why don't you let Gwen take care of that? She's good at that stuff. And you're like, nah. Just a few seconds. Almost got it. There! Whoa. What's that? No idea. Maybe if I... Uh-oh. Told you you should have let Gwen do it. Um, guys? I think we need to get out of here. Now? <laughs> well, at least we don't have to worry about getting the alien tech. What say we call it a day and go grab some smoothies? So, what do you think the hybrid are up to? They had their DNA aliens crawling all over this place. I say we've got them on the run now. This place was probably their main base on Earth. I don't think so. We need to keep our eyes open. I think this is just the beginning. Whatever the hybrid are planning, I have a feeling it's something really big. Oh.
The Earth will be mine! Siphon, power up the Null Void Projector! Oh, yes, Milgax. Oh, yes, Milgax. Oh, magnificent. Your, your big and scariness. Gax, spread out! Find Ben Tennyson! Looks like it's hero time. Gumball? Huh? huh? Professor Paradox! Greetings all. Good to see you again. Or should I say in the future, it will be good to have seen you before. Time travel can make verb tenses so very confusing. When are we now, anyway? Vilgax is invading the Earth. Ah, splendid. Then I'm just in time to warn you that now is not the right time to use Alien X. What? Well, then when should I... Professor? Where did he go? You mean, when did he go? Does it matter? Vilgax is still invading. We've got to do something. Any time now, Tennyson. We'll be able to defend more ground if we split up. Go! Earth as you know it will no longer exist. The new age of Vilgax has begun. Nobody messes with my planet! Why do you even bother trying? You cannot win. Surrender, Ben Ten, and Vilgax may just spare your life. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so scared. Your days as a hero are over, Omnitrix Bearer. Think you've won? <laughs> Vilgax still reigns supreme! For your just desserts! No free refills for you!
What's wrong with the Omnitrix? I can't get at my aliens anymore. That's because it's powered down to reboot, silly. Azmuth, you created the Omnitrix. Did you shut it off? No, you did. How many times do I have to tell you not to make so many quick changes in a row? You're going to break it. But the Earth is being invaded. <sighs> mm -hmm. Just as I thought. The Omnitrix needs time to recharge before you'll have access to all your aliens again. Oh, man. Don't make me sorry I chose you, Ben Tennyson. But... We'll the Omnitrix wisely. You're okay. We've been looking all over town for you. We've got a real problem, guys. The Omnitrix is... is the least of your concerns, I'm afraid. Professor Paradox? You're back. Dude, do you always have to sneak up on us like that? Maybe you can help us defeat Philgax. Oh, didn't I tell you before? It's far too late to save the Earth. What? Fortunately, though, it is never too early. There. That ought to do it. Nothing happened. We haven't even moved. In space, no. But in time... Look! You sent us into the past. Precisely to hopefully prevent this terrible catastrophe from ever having happened. Sweet. What do we do now? Why, I suggest you start with exactly what your Grandpa Max told you to do. But he's been on a top-secret assignment in outer space and hasn't told us anything. Yet. Ben, if you're receiving this message, I just left the Earth on a secret mission. Just left? Shh! Encrypted distress messages are coming in from plumbers all over the galaxy. There's some big trouble brewing out there, Ben, and I've got to find out what it is. I may need your help. Round up Kevin and your cousin Gwen, and meet me at the site of their first distress message. The planet Vulpin. That's Wild Mutt's home planet. Cool! Bingo. What do you want, a prize or something? How are we supposed to get there? I know! Get out more, Ben. Grandpa? How are we gonna find him? Guys, look! A plumber's badge! Don't touch it, Gwen. It might be a trap. Or not. Ben! I hope you find this message in time. Vilgax's forces have already invaded Vulpin. Plumber Intel has it that they're using the refinery here to create some special piece of alien tech for Vilgax. Identity unknown, purpose unknown. But if Vilgax wants it, you know it can't be good. You have to find and intercept that alien tech in the refinery before Vilgax shows up to get it. I'll be in touch. You heard the man. You guys, stay with ship. Uh-uh. No way, Ben. We're coming with you. If Vilgax does show up, it's gonna take all of you to hold him off. I hate when he's right. I'm going in. Would you look at what we have here? 
Why, I do believe it to be the mighty Ben Tan. Hey, can I float him up real good now, Octagon? Can I? You guys aren't as dumb as you look. You're dumber. Huh? Wait a minute. You shouldn't ought to have done that, boy. Now I... Glad I finally got to see Wild Mutt's planet. I'm definitely ready to head back to Earth now. Let's go home. Wait! It's another plumber's badge. Things are far more complicated than I thought. Plumber Intel has discovered that Vilgax is scouring the universe for a rare energy core. The kind that can power a null void projector. Like the one Vilgax used to take over the Earth. Is going to use. If we don't stop him... Plumber Intel hasn't determined what Vilgax plans to do with it exactly. At least you've kept him from being able to get one on Vulpin. Good job, Ben. But there are other places in the universe he can find this rare energy core. One is Terradino. I'm headed there now. Plumber's badge. Fire it up. Ben, I hope this message gets to you in time. Vilgax's forces have already taken over the planet Terradino as well. But as of this recording, they have not, repeat, not yet relayed the energy core from here to Vilgax. It's located in a nearby temple. That's all the intel I have. You've got to destroy this energy core, too, before Vilgax can get hold of it. But be careful. You guys better stay yeah, out. Yeah, no. Stay with Ship, fight off Vilgax if he shows up, and basically save the day while you're off here. Uh, sidekick's work is never done. Long time. How you been? <gasps> Don't answer that. I don't really care. You've got a lot of nerve facing me after what you did to my Uncle Hex. Don't underestimate me. I'm not ten years old anymore. You'll find I'm charming to the last. Go ahead. Take your best shot. Hey! Wait, Kevin, it's Ben! Sorry, dude. We thought you were Vilgax wrecking the temple. Is that what I think it is? I've got it. Ben, sorry I couldn't stay on Terradino longer. Urgent plumber business to attend to on Encephalonus 4. That's Brainstorm's home planet. I've always wanted to go there. Watch yourself. Your old enemy is here, and he's looking to get revenge on you. Who? I couldn't tell who he said. How many mortal enemies do you have, Tennyson? Uh... We better be ready for it. Watch yourself, Ben. Your old enemy is here. 
You've looking sent to get that message a dozen times. I've got to figure out who's waiting for me. Maybe it's a really old message. Maybe Max said, Kevin Levin. Hey, it's not like it totally couldn't have happened in the old days. I'm just saying. We've got to stop Vilgax from getting an energy source for his null void projector here. Come on! Looks dangerous in there. Are you sure you don't want us to come with you? Uh, no. But if Vilgax shows up and you guys aren't out here to hold him off, I'm doomed anyway. Way to look on the bright side, Ben. I mean, good luck. We got your back. Ben Tennyson, my old friend. You've got to be kidding me. Surprised to see me here? How is your dear cousin, the lovely Gwen? Don't make me do this to you, Michael. Michael Morningstar is no more. You know me as Dark Star. Tennyson! Over here! Ben! Grandpa Max? I don't know how secure these messages are to you, Ben. I suspect my transmissions are being intercepted. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to be in contact with you. But you need to know this. Plumber Intel has it that the very last place in the known universe where one of these energy cores Vilgax is searching for can be found is Anerfatos. <gasps> What's Anerfatos again? Dude, you can't go there. You'll never get out alive. Why? What kind of planet is it? It's not exactly a planet. Yeah, it's more like an alternate dimension. That doesn't sound so bad. It's where Ghost Freak is from? Oh, that is bad. Tennyson. It's Vilgax! I know you are attempting to thwart me, but it won't work. I am on to you, and I will beat you to the remaining energy core. I dare you to brave the dangers of Anna Fatos. If you can even find your way there, that is. <laughs> Did you take a right where I told you to back there? Yes. Don't be a backseat driver. I'm only trying to help. Vilgax was right. We're never going to find our way to Anorphatos. I thought you said it wasn't a regular planet. It's interdimensional. Too bad none of us happen to be able to travel between dimensions. Ben! Gwen! Grandma? Kiddos, look at you two. My, how you've grown. You never call. You never write. What are you doing here, Grandma? Why, your Grandpa Max asked me to help you get to Anarphatos, of course. Not just anybody can go there. It helps to be an energy being. And away we go! <laughs> no. Grandma? What's happening to us? Interdimensional space war. Nice. I can't see you guys anymore. Me neither. Don't get separated. Too late. Good luck, kiddos. So we meet again, Ben Ten. Long have I waited. <laughs> Ghost Freak! How? You're alive! Alive? Interesting word choice. You are in my domain now, foolish Ben Tennyson. <laughs> Any second now, I'm going to wake up. Ben 
ten, as I live and breathe. <laughs> Not. How unwise of you to venture here to Anothatos. It is the last mistake you shall ever make. I'm gonna defeat you or die trying. I mean, I'm just gonna defeat you. Forget that other part. Good thing you were able to track our mana and find us, Gwen. Now, if you could just find that grandmother of yours to get us out of here. Anything? Uh, uh-uh. Grandma Verdona is long gone. She could be anywhere in the universe by now. Great. So we're stuck here. After all we've just been through? No. We've got to get back to our own dimension. Somehow. We're running out of time. Did someone say time? Professor, Professor Paradox! Paradox! Boy, are we glad to see you! No time to dilly-dally. Back to your own dimension with you. Here we are, then. Oh, come now. Why the long faces? It's not the end of the world. Yet. Professor, our Grandpa Max's last message to us was intercepted by Vilgas. Is he alright? Is he...? Why, I just saw Max Tennyson a little while ago. <sighs> or rather... Maybe I have just seen him in the future. Gumball? No, thank you. Where is he? Where is who, dear? Grandpa, Grandpa Max! Max! Oh, him! Of course. Max Tennyson knew his last message to Ben was being intercepted by Vilgax. That's why he said Anna Phaetos had the last known rare energy core to try to throw Vilgax off. But, there is actually another way to generate the same power of said energy core. How? Only from the rarest, most valuable gem in the universe, Tadenite. The only major store of which, outside of Volcanus' stash, of course, ah, dude, is right this moment on the radioactive planet Molotesi, being experimented upon by someone who is creating an energy core with which Vilgax may very well take over the Earth. Not on my watch! Now, how do we find this guy? I say we split up. Cover more ground that way. Give me a second. I'll see if I can sense anything. I've been on Moritesi for a while now, working on an exciting new scientific breakthrough. How to extract a powerful energy from... Tatanite. Uh-oh. Who wants to break the bad news to him? What bad news? Cooper, we've heard about your experiment. What? How? It's top secret. Someone has been using you for your scientific genius, a telekinetic mind. Again. But, my research! Your amazing scientific breakthrough is going to help Vilgax take over a whole bunch of planets, including the Earth. All my hard work. I'm sorry. <sighs> the Tate and I is being kept with the rest of my equipment in the Science and Technology Center where I've been working. I'd better not go with you, or it'll draw suspicion. But, maybe I can help you some other way. Good look on you. Is it my fault I'm stuck looking like you? Oh wait, it is. There's only room for one Omnitrix here. And yes, that would be mine. Say goodbye, Ben Tennyson. How did you guys get in here? Cooper. Gotta hand it to that kid. He is smart. Ben? It's another message from Grandpa. Must be a plumber's badge hidden around here somewhere. 
Or a plumber. Grandpa Max! You're here! I'm so proud of you kids. We did it, Grandpa. We stopped Vilgax from being able to invade the Earth. I only wish you were right. But he is right, Grandpa. We destroyed all the energy cores in the entire known universe. Game over. The Earth is saved. All right! <laughs> yeah! What's wrong? There is another. Where? How? Impossible. We took them all out. You destroyed all the energy cores in the known universe, yes. But there's one more that's not in the known universe, per se. It's so far off the beaten track that I can only hope nobody else knows about it besides me. How do you know about it, then? Because if it turns out to be the energy core Vilgax gets his hands on to power his null void projector and take over the Earth, then the whole catastrophe is all my fault. Huh? The final energy core in existence is in my own stash of alien tech, in my old lair back when I was known as the Wrench, in the Null Void. You'll need this. What is it? It's called a skeleton key. Got it on the black market a while back. Level 12 alien tech. Whoa, I've heard of those things. But I didn't know they were real. What does it do? Get out of jail free card. Huh? It can transport you out of the null void prison dimension. Or into. I've been holding on to it in case of an emergency. And Vilgax succeeding in taking over the Earth definitely qualifies as an emergency. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! It's a small device with only enough power to teleport one person. Me. You're gonna need the energy core you find in there among my old stuff to power the skeleton key to get you home again. So don't destroy this one. Or you'll be trapped in the null void. Good luck, Ben. I know you can do this. The whole world is depending on you. No pressure. For amateurs, Ben Tennyson. You cannot avoid the void. The void, Dr. Animo. Pick a name and stick with it, will ya? You imprisoned me here. Now I shall return the favor. Bring it on. <laughs> This works. I'm back. You did it. That was fast. What do you mean? Dude, you just left a second ago. Interesting. Grandpa Max? I brought you back something else you left in the Null Void. Best summer of my life.
good boy ship. Nothing's changed. Oh no? Looks like Vilgax's null void projector is missing a little power. Of course! Because we went into the past and intercepted all the possible energy cores that would have allowed Vilgax to have one here now. No more creatures can come through the disabled null void projector. Uh, I hate to rain on your victory parade, people, but there are still plenty of creatures already here. handle these. You go after the cats. Don't let him get away. Right. It's hero time. Is it evil in here or is it just you? If it isn't Ben Tennyson and his loyal lackeys, it's been a long time since you've been in my presence. How many times do I have to defeat you, Vilgax, before you get the hint? You're not going to stop my plans this time, Ben Ten. You and your precious planet are no more. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna rue the day, blah, blah, blah. Can we fight now? Siphon, what are you doing here? Surprise! Vilgax beamed me back aboard right after you defeated me. Good thing, too. Hmm, I wonder what happens when you blast unfiltered null void energy directly at someone at close range. Kids, don't try this at home. I am a trained professional. Professor Paradox! I... No time, Ben. Now is the right moment. Alien X! Look, Serena, if it isn't Ben Tennyson. Why, Bellicus, I propose that it is Ben Tennyson. Seconded. We don't have any time for your nonsense, you two. If you don't do what I say, the Omnitrix is going to be destroyed, with you in it. All in favor of being destroyed? Ah! Motion denied! We will not be destroyed! Too late! <laughs> you go and do that for? Azmuth! But... Uh, I had to! The, the Earth and uh, Vilgax and the No Void Protector was... Relax, kid. You did good. 
That was some mighty fine earth saving you did there. Kudos. I knew you were the right one to bear the Omnitrix. What I meant was, how did you know when to use Alien X? Timing is everything. Hmm. You're not gonna power it down again, are you? Are you kidding? <laughs> Silly Earthling. For saving the world, you don't get rebooted. You get rewarded. Oh yeah! It is seriously hero time now! A little help here, Ben! Yeah, get with the program, Tennyson! Don't you think I'm trying? Uh, it won't let me transform while he keeps calling me. Who? Asthma? I wish. Getting told off by a cranky little alien would be better than having to keep answering trivia questions for my number one fan. That kid seriously needs to get a light. Ben, come in, Ben. Come on, pick up. It's serious this time. Jimmy! Dinner! No time for that now, Mom! I got the fate of the world in my hands here! Come on, Ben, where are you? Ben Tennyson? Ah, oh, what are you doing here? I won't let you foil my plans again! This time, I'm prepared! I've got more important things to deal with than you. <laughs> you again? Why do you have to keep following me around? Right, like I have nothing better to do than follow you around. Lucky I've got more important things to deal with than you. Except that you're in my way. To get lost! So this is where you've been hiding all this time? Ah, Ben Tennyson. Verily, I have hoped our paths would cross again someday. For sooth, my power has been growing below these six years hence. Yeah, along with your B.O. <laughs> Don't get out much, do you? <sighs> Thou cannot stop at me this time. I have been enhanced by your alien artifact. And yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's hero time! Thou canst not defeat me. The power of yon artifact is mine! Not if I have anything to say about it. Jimmy? Ben. Sorry about that. My head's been a little full being a hero and all. <laughs> you know how it is. Now tell me what you've heard about the new Sumo Slammers 3D movie! Ain't an awesome website! I don't care about that, Ben! Oh, this is serious! I've been monitoring a cosmic storm on the outskirts of our galaxy that seems to be making its way towards the Earth. You have to do something! Alright, calm down, man. Send me the coordinates and I'll show you how the pros handle these things. Attention! All plumbers in Section 7G, this is Ben Tennyson. Investigate possible cosmic storm approaching coordinates Alpha Niner Tango. Repeat Alpha Niner Tango. Ben Tennyson, out. There you go, Jimmy. You can relax now. Let the plumbers in the vicinity look into it. Now, go back to answering my fan mail on my blog, will ya? It's 
piling up. Thanks, you're the best. Mean uh, it. But, but, but... Creatures. Why are they in Paris? Probably like eating snails. They're considered a delicacy there, you know. Who are we to judge? I mean, what are they doing on Earth? I knew what you meant. Just trying to lighten up the sense of impending doom. See, this is what Jimmy should be spending his time monitoring and telling me about. Not some space storm that's millions of miles away. Come on! Ben Tennyson? I didn't take you for the sophisticated museum going tight, such as ourselves. Yeah, cause you're not what we call sophist and McCain. <laughs> I'm here for that artifact you're stealing. Hand it over. We hear it, it's real valuable, Mike. And we ain't the only bounty hunters what come to Earth looking for it. Who else is here on Earth after that thing? Now we got no choice but to smash you up real good, Ben Tennyson. Hey! Well, well, Ben Tennyson. My thanks for retrieving the artifact for me, and I appreciate you taking care of those other bounty hunters as well. It's not for you! Give it! <laughs> and why would I do that? This little beauty will fetch a good price in the intergalactic black market. Do you even know what that thing is? Don't know, don't care. All that matters is how much it's worth. This can't be happening. This is Will Harang, and you're watching the Will Harang Nation. Welcome, people, and once again, that menace to society known as Ben 10 wreaked havoc on poor unsuspecting citizens like you and me. They're just trying to earn an honest living. Only this time, the destruction wasn't limited to our United States. Oh no, no! Outside the borders, people! And this footage provided us by a reliable source who has to remain anonymous. You can clearly see for yourselves that Tennyson has turned his wave of destruction against our longtime allies, Italy and France! Ben 10. Threat or menace, people? You decide. Give me a break. Hey, you've got something that belongs to me. I believe you're mistaken. I recall seeing you steal this from those Cretans in the museum. Oh, it seems you're no better than I am. I'm impressed. I wasn't stealing anything. I was... Recovering an artifact that was already in the process of being stolen! <laughs> Repoing it from the repo men? Sure. Why am I even arguing with you? Now I'll give you one more chance. Give it to me, or... Or what? This thing's worth way too much dough. Just try and take it away from me if you dare. Over here! Hey! Hey, bud! You've gotten in my way for the last time, Ben Tennyson. Yeah! <laughs> 
Attention, plumbers in Alpha Niner Tango, come in. Still can't get through? You'd think they'd want to know about all these alien bounty hunters showing up on Earth for some reason. Plumber communication channels are completely full of chatter. Let me see if I can hone in on what they're all so chatty about. <gasps> no! We've got to get out there and do something! Once again, bearer of the Ultimatrix, the burden of protecting your entire planet lies with you. Azimuth? What are you doing here? Uh-oh. You must be in trouble, Tennyson. Indeed. But not with me. With him. Who is it? A creature so powerful that even the Ultimatrix I created may not be enough to protect the Earth against it. We need to round up all the plumbers in the galaxy. Form a protective brigade around the Earth. So they can fall, just as their noble comrades before them? No. Then what? There may be a way to temporarily enhance the power of the Ultimatrix. Great, do it! I cannot. But perhaps my ancestors can. I was not the first of my kind to pursue an interest in the sciences that led to my eventual creation of the Omnitrix and Ultimatrix. Eons ago, my scientific ancestors, that ancient Galvan, created a device they dubbed the Potus Altiari for its amazing power-enhancing abilities. But power often corrupts. So, my people hid the Potus Altiari, the one place in the galaxy they knew it would be safe from any attempts to use it for evil. Earth. Because you knew ancient Earthlings had noble hearts, and would only ever use it for good. What planet have you been living on? We chose Earth because it's such a backward planet that even if the Potus Altiari were discovered, you primitive Earthlings wouldn't have any idea what to do with it. Now, where was I? Oh yes. Upon entering Earth's atmosphere, the Potus Altiari was torn asunder. Each piece falling like a meteorite to a different point on your planet's surface. Huh. Reminds me of the Omnitrix crashing here back when I was a kid and found it. You Galvin sure are obsessed with sending your top tech to Earth. Kevin? What? I can't be the only one thinking it. Ahem. For centuries now, each piece of the POTUS Altiari has been affecting the lore, landscape, and even the locals themselves in each of the areas of your world where they land. How could the Earthlings, I mean people there, never have noticed? Perhaps they noticed something. But being primitive as you are, attributed the phenomena incorrectly. Weather balloons, crop circles... The Potus Altiari can give you, Ultimatrix Bearer, the power you need to defend the Earth from the approaching threat. But where do we start looking? The pieces could be anywhere. Some place with weather and crops? Well, that narrows it down. How is it you came to have a piece of the Potus Altiari? We thought it was just some dusty old alien artifact. The Vredel brothers and Sunder were after it in Paris. Can I touch it? Enoch had another piece just like this one when I was fighting him back in Rome. Probably super enhanced his powers from being around it for so long. So you have two? Excellent, Ben Tennyson! Uh, that one's still in Rome. What? I didn't know! I only kept this one because all those bounty hunters in Paris were so interested in it. Figured it must be important. You figured right. You must return to Rome and retrieve that piece immediately. We already know where that one is, and Ben took care of all the bad guys around it. Better go try to find the others first. Yeah, before that cosmic cloud guy gets here and finds out about it. Not a concern. The existence of the Potus Altiare is known only to the Galvin. And now you. A cosmic storm. Ben, one of the aliens you can turn into is a species that's created in cosmic storms. A Toku star. Azimuth, it's not... It is.
Earthlings may have actually had a chance at discovering life on that planet since it was so close to their solar system. Oh well, too late now. <laughs> Those primitive bacteria's lives lost matter not to me. Their world was merely in my way. Of course, Master. At least Pluto would pose no such concern for you. That planet has long since been destroyed. Pluto was never really a planet. Some consider it was. What I do not! Then it is not, Master. You are well practiced as a toady, Siphon. Vilgax thought so. Then why would you leave his side? I choose to serve only the most powerful. For a while, that was Vilgax. I considered Agrigor, but he preferred to work alone. And look where it got him. Now it is you, Master. Are you saying that you cannot be trusted to remain loyal? I should kill you now and be rid of you! A thousand pardons if I offend you, Master. Your wish is of course my command. I live to serve. You only live if I say you live. Ah, uh, uh, uh. you need me. The robot extermination devices I left dormant on Earth during my time with Vilgax answer only to my commands. If you want them to find what you are looking for, you must allow me to live. Ah, I see how you have managed to survive your other masters for so long. Impressive. Now activate the Reds! Guys? Unauthorized alien activity on a large scale is suddenly being detected at Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Is that the place I think it is? You cannot deviate from your purpose, Ben Tennyson. What is happening in this Wyoming will be of no consequence if the Earth is lost. People have been thinking they've had close encounters with UFOs there for years. Maybe because a piece of the POTUS Altiari has been there all this time affecting the area. Hmm. Possible. It does indeed warrant investigation. Go now, Ben Tennyson. I must attend to other matters. The safety of the Earth depends upon you. When doesn't it? Remember, if you ever need me, just click your heels together three times. Really? No! Of course not! Ah! The guy that put the Ugg in Ugly! How fortunate for me. I get to collect the bounty for the artifact and get my revenge on Ben Tennyson. Win, win. I wouldn't count on it. Hero, remember? Another bounty hunter? Don't you guys ever learn? <laughs> I should have known he would find a way to... to get in the way. Tennyson! Track where the other pieces are? Shh, I'm trying to concentrate. Enough already, Gwen. This is too dangerous. Wait, I think I'm getting something. Help me out here, Ben. If just one of those pieces was strong enough to supercharge our enemies... Think of what would happen if it did even half that to someone as powerful as Gwen. We don't want to have to fight you, okay? Why? Because you would lose? <laughs> <laughs> I got this. You okay, Gwen? 
I think so. No more of that. It's not worth risking one of our own friends. Or us. I think I caught a glimpse of where one of the other pieces is, though. The Great Wall of China. Shouldn't be too hard to find it there. I mean, how big can a wall be? They say you can see it from space. Hey, just because they say it doesn't mean it's true. Says the guy who doesn't even know how big the Great Wall is. Am I the only one who saw that dragon? Dude, is that a... dragon? It must be guarding the artifact. But what's all this equipment doing here? It's gotta belong to whoever built all that crazy stuff I just fought my way through. A secret base hidden in the mountains of China. Whoever was here before must have been searching for the alien artifact. Well, if it is protecting the artifact, then I've gotta convince him to hand it over. Yeah, good luck with that, Tennyson. <laughs> Ben? Wake up, Tennyson. I think he's coming too. Oh. Whoa. What happened? That was some hit you took back there. Next time, you better wear a helmet. I'm gonna need more than just a helmet next time if it's against that way big who's heading to Earth. Ugh. Just a figure of speech, dude. Now that your reds have proven useless to me, I have no further use for you, Siphon. Ah, uh, but Master, if it pleases you, I have already taken the liberty to remotely have my reds seize one of Ben Tennyson's own most trusted allies, who even now has fallen under our control. Our control? Uh, of course I mean your control. Excellent work. I may just let you live long enough to witness me crush Ben Tennyson and his entire world! And for that, I am grateful, Master. Show me this comrade of Tennyson's who now does my bidding from afar. Where to next, hero? There's no reason to be sarcastic. Do I ever need a reason? Guys, come on! Keep it together! If we can't rely on each other, we're in real trouble! Ben! Cooper? Plumbers, helpers! Security compromised! Kidnapped me! Tokyo, can't trust any- Come alone! Ben, help! I'm going with you. Bad idea, Gwen. But it's Cooper! And you heard what he said? I've got to go alone or they'll do something to him. Who will? I don't know. But I'm gonna go find out. Ladies and gentlemen! Children of all ages! Did you come to see my show? I'm looking for Cooper. Cooper? Cooper? Hmm, let me think. There was some blonde kid around. You mean him? <laughs> He's far too busy now. Preoccupied with some friends of mine. Where is he? Jokes and fun times over, Ben. Catch me if you can.
Star. He will be so pleased. Oh, no, he won't. I'm gonna get you out of this. Hang on. Whew. I don't know how to thank you, Ben. I can't believe you got me out of that. I did what I had to do. You're a real friend. You don't even know. Azimuth is gonna be so disappointed in me. But nowhere near as disappointed as all the people of Earth are gonna be when that way big shows up and I can't fight him. What are you talking about? I think I may have hit you too hard back there. Sorry. I could use my powers to help you fight. Good, because now that you made Tennyson blow his only chance of an ancient Galvin power-up, we're gonna need your help. And more. Get back to Bellwood fast and round up all the plumber's helpers you can find to defend the Earth. This is not a drill. How am I supposed to get there? Gwen? I can't do it just any old time we need to teleport somewhere. It takes too much out of me. But this is an emergency. Maven Awin! What are you trying to say? Rain it in, Romeo. That's a little harsh. <laughs> he almost lost his lips. Yeah? He's gonna lose more than that if he ever tries that move again. Wow, somebody's jealous. Of Cooper? <sighs> Give it a rest, guys. <gasps> Greetings, uh, wondrous ancient Galvin. Welcome to our Earth. Uh, I don't think they're alive, Ben. They're just holograms. Maybe. No way to tell. Huh? Oh. They're trying to take the Ultimatrix! Don't give it to them, Ben! <clears throat> yes, I destroyed one of the pieces of your device to save my friend. You don't have to rub it in. Now I know where Azimuth gets it from. You really think the ancient Galvin came all the way here just to give you a hard time? Azmuth does. No. Azmuth only shows up when it's something very important. And to give Ben a hard time. You think the ancient Galvin were trying to tell me something important? Bingo. But if you're still missing a piece, what good is it gonna do you to find the rest of them? You wanna argue with the ancient Galvin? Come on. Well, happy, Ben Tennyson. You're the last person we was expecting to see all the way in these parts. But I destroyed you guys. Yeah, about that. If you recollect our past encounters, many of which have ended in our untimely demise, you may also recall that we are what you call clones. Oh, right. How many of there are you, anyway? I don't know. We never met us before. Are you a clone, too? Let me do the talking, Boyd. I've defeated you guys before. I'll just do it again. Ow! Don't you guys ever learn? Good thing the artifact doesn't seem to enhance brain power.
This is Will Harang with a Will Harang Nation special report. Our reliable but anonymous source has once again provided us with stunning evidence of that vigilante vandal, Ben Tennyson, continuing his swath of destruction all over the world. But that's not the worst of it, concerned citizens. Ben Tennyson has brought about the apocalypse. That's right, the end of the world is nigh. I tried to warn you people about how dangerous Ben Tennyson is, but no! Now maybe you'll listen to me. Buy my book, Ben 10, Fred or Menace, you decide. I just know it's got to be Jimmy posting battle footage of me on his website that's feeding all these clips to Will Harang. He wouldn't do that again, would he? Not after last time. Maybe not on purpose, but he's just a dumb kid, right? He doesn't know any better. How old is he, like 10? Hey, when I was 10, I was saving the world. Did you walk to school uphill both ways, too? It has to be Jimmy. Who else could it possibly be? This is a message for Ben Tennyson. Scython! That guy's still around? Surrender the POTUS Altiari now, and the Earth may be spared the wrath of the mightiest being in the galaxy. Destroyer of worlds. The master of disaster! Yeah, right. Like that's gonna happen. I thought Asma said only Galvin knew about the existence of the POTUS Altiari. Chalk up one thing the Galvin were wrong about. My master approaches. All tremble. Especially you, Ben Tennyson. Or you shall be the first to fall. How could Siphon know about the Potus Altiari? A Galvin must have told him. Impossible! We Galvin would rather die than give up our secrets to anyone. You told us. And a fat lot of good it did. The threat to Earth is upon us. And I shall be the first to fall, I know, I heard. This is no laughing matter, Ben Tennyson. I'm not laughing. When that evil Waybig gets to Earth, I'll be ready and waiting for him. to Rome and pick up that last piece. You mean first piece? Whatever! Gwen, I need you to teleport me there, now! But I can't. I told you I wouldn't be able to do that again anytime soon. It takes too much out of me. Wait, Azmuth, the Omnitrix once teleported us to the planet Primus when it was compelled to return there. So I recall. It was I who was waiting there to receive it, remember? If I can set the Ultimatrix to seek out the final piece of the Potus Altiari it requires... It may be compelled to teleport to it with you along. Excellent, Ben Tennyson. I hope this works. Ultimatrix must complete Potus Altiari. on you and leaking the footage to Will Harang. That would be me. That was you? People will finally realize what the real Ben 10 is. A menace to society! You've one-upped me for the last time, Ben Tennyson. I did what to the who now? You know exactly what you've done. You've ruined my career. You've ruined my life. And when I defeat you, everyone will cheer my name. There's only room for one hero, and that's me! <laughs> Benjamin Tennyson, you have caused me far more trouble than you're worth. I am here to take the pieces of the Potus Altiari from you and deliver them to my master. Yeah, that's not gonna happen.
You've had this coming for a long, long time, Siphon. catch up to him here. Long flight from Central America to Italy. Even longer flight from Italy to Japan. Let's get moving. Did you get it? I'm ready to take on that evil way big now. Or die trying. Dude, if the ancient Galvin were just messing with you, that's exactly what's gonna happen. You don't have all the pieces of the Potus Altiari. You can't power enhance the Ultimatrix. That evil way big is totally gonna stomp you. Not if I stomp him first. Are you with me? Till the end of the world. Which could be any minute now. It's hero time! what I'm talking about. I gotta hang on to this thing. This is gonna make my job so much easier. I wonder how much power it has. I bet it lasts forever. <laughs> or slightly less. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Not again. Somebody get that kid another hobby, stat. Sheesh. Hey, Jimmy, what's up now? The trailer for the new Sumo Slammers movie, Sumo Slammers 2, Electric Slammeroo, just hit the net. I'll send you a link. Sweet! Thanks, man. You're the best. Sorry I suspected you of, you know, spying on my every move earlier and everything. Well... Yeah? I am kind of right now totally monitoring that evil way big you just threw into space. <laughs> that was so tremendously cool, by the way. Looks like he landed on the moon and then just disappeared. Impossible. You must have just lost track of him when he arched behind it. I know what I saw. You're seeing things, kid. Speaking of seeing things, send me that link. I can't wait to see it. Na -na 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 -na. Sumo Slammers 2, Electric Slammeroo. <laughs> Yes? 
It's you, Ben Tennyson! I spent a year and a day alone in that cosmic storm, incubating the one single molecule of Tokastar DNA I managed to salvage back when you blew up the Omnitrix and left me for dead! Now I'm stuck on this dusty rock in this disgusting form again. And there are no chili fries! This could not get any worse. Oh! Ow! Ah! Oh! No! Not the face! Not the face! This is such a good idea. I'm getting kind of used to the whole Omnitrix is unpredictable when I need it most thing. Nonsense. There's obviously something wrong with the time circuit. This experimental program should make your Omnitrix completely predictable. If your calculations are correct. Of course they are. I'm nearly almost positive of it. While Blue Kitchen Dream would take care of that, I'll go ahead and start the training simulation. Have fun. How about it, guys? Are you ready to upload the program to the Omnitrix? Almost there. Yes! Just keep them busy for a while longer. <sighs> All right, Ben and Rook. I wasn't going to throw anything big at you today, but since we have time... One of Animo's giant ants? Huh, piece of cake. Done and done! Activating program in five, four, three, two... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh man, this cannot be good. Rook, get out of here before... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was quite unpleasant. And somewhat confusing as well. Ben! It is good to see you. I think something went wrong with the experiment. Experiment? Dude, am I supposed to know what you're talking about? Or who you are? Well, never mind. In about five seconds, this place is gonna be overrun with bad guys. Stick with me if you want to get out of here in one piece. Don't worry. I'm a superhero. Uh, I think we lost him. Yes, but I think he found us. I see you have recruited some assistance this time, Ben Tennyson. No matter. I have grown weary of your repeated attempts to defeat me. This ends here. This technology is like nothing I've encountered before. The Proto-Tool. It's history. Malware absorbed its technology. We better get out of here before he starts using all your tricks against us. With this new technology, you'll need more than your unarmed friend to defeat me. Which is where I come in. Magister Tennyson, it is good to see you. Do I know you? Yeah, I said the same thing. Well, I know both of you. Or at least I will know you. Wait! Blue Kitch and Dreba's experiment! It must have somehow created a temporal anomaly. Are you saying you're from the future? I suppose I am. As was the prototool malware absorbed. That's not good. There's no telling what malware will be able to do with that kind of tech. You are familiar with the proto-tool in this time period? We just got it up and running. Here. You're going to need this more than I am. But be careful. It's the only one we've got. Thank you. I will return it to you when I manage to find a way back to my own. Time. Oh. Where have you been? 
That is difficult to explain. Well, never mind. In about five seconds, this place is going to be overrun with bad guys. We've got to get out of here. Well, that doesn't look friendly. No, but it does look somehow familiar. Done and done. Yeah, you better run. Interesting. I thought the young plumber was out of the picture. Don't worry, old friend. You'll get another opportunity soon enough. Malware might be in charge, but I will not allow even him to deprive me of my greatest trophy, Ben Tennyson. That's some story. Getting his hands on the proto-tool must be how Malware got the ability to change tech into different forms instead of just absorbing it. That's why he's so powerful now. My inadvertent intrusion into the past seems to have created an alternate timeline. We must undo the damage. Well, I guess if Lukic and Reba broke the timeline, they can fix it. Unfortunately, they were captured by Siphon while they were out scrounging for parts and stuff. He's holding them somewhere in Gastown. Then we should focus our efforts on finding them. Ben Tennyson and his bluish sidekick. I knew you'd eventually show up to free your little friends. As it turns out, they've already served their purpose. You can have them, if you survive, that is. Yes! It's possible that Rook's time jumping is related to the experiment you described. Of course, this being an alternate timeline, we don't remember being involved in such an experiment. So can you recreate it or not? Yes, possibly. Definitely, maybe. And we're waiting because... Look, things have been a lot more dangerous around here than they usually are. Malware is pretty much running the show these days. Rook and I better get out there and find out what he's up to. Good idea. You went back to your own time or something. I did. In a manner of speaking. Apparently, it was not a permanent condition. Something has happened to the future, and I... We'll have to worry about that later. After you disappeared, we ran into Dr. Animo. He's up to something, and when we tried to find out what, he captured Grandpa Max and headed for the nuclear plant. We have to rescue him. Of course. Lead the way. Ben! Rook! Get out! It's... Let me guess. It's a trap. What you said about the alternate future fits with what we've seen here. Absorbing the tech from the proto-tool made Malware very powerful. He's only just starting to use his new abilities to his advantage. And if he's as powerful as you say in the future, maybe we should come up with a way to take him down here, before he goes all mechamorphic on Bellwood. A reasonable plan. I would like to help. For as long as I am able to remain in this time frame, that is. Cool! We make a great team. I bet you and Teenage Me must be a well-oiled machine in the future. I am not sure I would say that, exactly. Good, you're back. I was gonna handle this alone, but it's always good to have somebody else around to distract the bad guys while I do my thing. Well-oiled machine. Huh? Never mind. Huh. 
It is possible this region is not entirely stable. True, but I have a feeling that's no earthquake. No can do, Pakmar, but don't worry. I have everything under control. that thing? A morphic generator. They're used to transform inert matter into solid holograms for combat simulations, like the ones in the plumber training room. But this one's better. We built it when he kidnapped us. Why would you build anything for malware? Because it's harmless. Malware can't hurt anyone with holograms. No, but with the power he got from the proto-tool, he can change things instead of destroying them. Right now, he can only affect tech. But if he absorbs the ability to transform inert matter, he can transform anything he touches. Oh, we hadn't considered that. If we had, we wouldn't have built it. Or the other two either. There are three of them? We need to find those other two generators fast. We've analyzed the data that Rook brought back from the future. The scans show that the generators are buried in a vault under hundreds of feet of rock. Yes, they are completely inaccessible. In the future, yes. But in our time, that location is directly below the Fullerton building. Which is still under construction. It's mostly just a big hole right now. But the generators are not there yet. Those devices I gave you are designed with coded triggers that can only be set off by Ben's alien forms. If you plant the explosives in the construction site in this time period, they'll still be there in the future. And when Rook Green flashes back to his time, all he has to do is get older me to set off the bombs. Come on, Rook. We've got some bombs to plant. Okay, the explosives are all set. You guys should be ready to go when you get back to the future. Or present. Or whatever you call it. Yes. We should go back and inform Magister Tennyson. Ben, you... Younger you, and I, planted explosives at the site where the morphic generators are hidden. If we detonate the bombs, we can destroy the generators. Great. Let's get moving. Just when I thought we were in the clear. Um, well, I guess we showed him. Showed him what? Yes, I know, my friend. You want to fight. But I feel that Ben Tennyson and his friend are on the verge of shifting the balance of power. I was content to serve Malware as long as it was beneficial to me. But perhaps it is time to let him fend for himself. But fret not. Someday I will add Ben Tennyson to my trophy collection. He is indeed prey worthy of Kyber the Huntsman. Generators destroyed. Check. Ugh. Does Pekmar have sign on his back that says keep Pekmar when he's down? Sheesh! I give up! Pekmar out! I feel bad for that guy. I really do. Ben, 
We still need to find a way to restore the proper timeline before malware controls all of the tech in your world. Too bad we can't bring past and present malware together. Maybe they'd accidentally absorb each other. Excellent idea. We should get to work on a plan right away. Um, I was just kidding. How... Man, I'm never gonna get used to that. Getting the two malwares to absorb each other is actually a pretty good idea. Don't sound so surprised. I come up with lots of good ideas. And apparently I still will in the future. If this is going to work, we'd have to lure both malwares to the same physical spot in the two timelines. Our best bet would probably be the place where Rook first appeared. The barrier between the present and future is already weak there. But how will we lure malware to that location? Nothing attracts malware like tech. The more unusual, the better. And if it's weird tech we need, I know just where to find it. Get out! A portable version of Animo's Mutant Ray. This'll attract malware for sure. The cave where you first appeared in this time frame isn't far from here. Let's go! There. Now all we have to do is wait for malware to show up. Malware might be attracted by that tech, but we failed to take into account what it was designed to attract. There will be trouble. Ben Tennyson, and the other one as well. If you plan to stop me from absorbing this technology, you are wasting your time. Yeah? Well, we'll just see about that. Rook, go! I'll hold him in here as long as I can! Ben, the earlier version of malware is now in the cave where I first appeared in the past. Now we have to lure the malware of this time to the corresponding location so that Blukic and Dreba can activate their program and merge the two time periods. That would be the training room in the plumber headquarters. I shut down the base and sealed it off when things started getting bad. I didn't want malware to find it. Then, obviously, we will have to come up with a new plan. We cannot allow malware to access the base. Actually, we have to. Malware wants a morphic generator, and the only one left is exactly where we need him to be. You cannot be serious. This is very risky. We're never going to fix this time travel mess unless we take out both malwares. If ever there was a time to take a risk, it's now. That's weird. The elevator usually goes directly to the control room. How do we end up in the power core? I think I know. Leave it to malware to be fashionably early. Come on, we have to get to the training room as fast as we can. Here goes nothing. Fools! You have led me exactly where I wanted to be. Soon my victory will be complete. We'll see about that. Lukic, Dreba? Activating program in five, four, three... Now! Who's more foolish, Malware? The fool or the evil mechamorph that follows him? Persist in fighting me! You cannot win! Not alone, then. But I'm not alone. Temporal realities are merging. Malware from the past is shifting into our time frame. Later, Rook. Kick their butts! Wow. As cool as I am now. I thought it'd be way cooler than that in the future. Wow. I was kind of full of myself as a kid. Glad I grew out of that, huh, Ruck? If you say so. Come on, let us end this. Activating program in five, four, no! no! Uh, what? What do you mean, no? Don't you want us to fix your Omnitrix? I think things are fine just the way they are. Now, delete that program. 
From here on out, I'm done messing around with the Omnitrix. Hmm, Azimuth was right! He is insufferable! The blast, it only affected us. I'm thinking it's probably best that, just this once, we keep the fact that I saved the universe from total annihilation to ourselves and forget this ever happened. Agreed. It would be difficult to explain in any case. I think we've had enough training for today. I say we get out of here. Mr. Smoothie's on me. I do not see anything on you. Not on me. On me. It's an Earth expression. Hello. Hello. You Earthlings have a lot of strange expressions, but a smoothie would be refreshing right now. Will you buy some for us? That's what I... <laughs> Never mind. I gotta get back to Azimuth and get this thing fixed! Game 10, Omniverse 2. You have to be more careful. If the incursions discover your presence, the Earth will be destroyed. Sure, but I got the ship schematics. And besides, I made sure that anyone that saw me will be out cold until we reach Earth. So, how about using that greatest mind in three galaxies of yours to fix this thing? Arguably five. There, fixed. I also found the long-range communications computer. If you could disable that, I would feel better about you sneaking around. Disable? As in smash to pieces? I can totally do that! Be back soon. Maybe you'll have dinner ready for me when I return. Oh, and straighten up a bit. Okay, thanks! Huh? Then got him! Ben, you are near the control terminals that you need to disable. Can you be a little more descriptive? There's a lot of computery type stuff in here. They should be emanating a bright yellow light. Got it. So, disable. Does that mean destroy? Well, that would be one way to do it. Saturday afternoon, beating up the bad guys so no one can make a long-distance call. At least, I think it's afternoon. Back to Azimuth. Now that the long-range communications have been smashed to pieces... <laughs> you mean, disabled. Fine, disabled. We can collect some of this incursion DNA for your Omnitrix. Uh, why would I want to be a gross frog? Espionage. When we get to Earth, you will need a disguise to get around. We can't let anyone see that Ben Tennyson is back. Okay. So I'll use the Omnitrix to grab some DNA from the first frog I see. No, you will not. You're going to need to be able to defend yourself. Therefore, you must seek out the DNA of the toughest incursion you can find. Where do the biggest, baddest toads hang out in here? The mess hall. Figures. There. One of the larger incursions will provide a fine DNA sample. But be warned, they have a weapon that interferes with the Omnitrix. <laughs> of course they do. He's ready for a beatdown! Um, I didn't know what exactly to bring back, so I have some... <clears throat> mucus. That will be adequate. Let me isolate the sample for the Omnitrix and... There. Give it a try. Hey, yeah, not bad. This guy definitely needs an awesome name, though, like Crazy Legs or Aqua Tag or... Wait. Bullfrag. Yeah. Very well. Glad we settled that. Now prepare yourself. We should be landing on Earth soon, and I have a plan. No problem. Bullfrag can't handle anything. I like this guy. Asmuth, my old friend. And... Ben Tennyson? I thought they shot you into space. It was all over the news. Yeah, like that's gonna stop me. So catch me up. What's happened since I left? Well, the incursions have taken over Earth, using their mind-controlled way badge. And their Emperor has been spending all efforts to repair his flagship that you damaged. Good times, good times. As soon as he repairs that ship, 
He will leave Earth to conquer other planets. Well then, we just need to make sure that that doesn't happen. Indeed. You need to drain that flagship's power core. How about I just transform into Edel and make a meal out of that ship? Then we are not ready to reveal that you are alive. We need something less conspicuous. So you mean something boring, like some sort of energy draining device? Exactly like that. I just need a couple parts, and that is where you come in. Ben Tennyson, special delivery service. Kinda getting used to this. This is the supply depot I was talking about, Ben. The power source is here. Be careful. It will be heavily guarded. You call that heavily guarded? As if. We have the power source, but we lack the necessary materials. This shop doesn't even have any quantum tunneling diodes. Well, we're not going to let a diode beat us. I'll get the testing supplies. Unnecessary. A single galvanic mechamorph circuit drive would provide the components I need. I could check Undertown. You can find all kinds of alien stuff down there. Hmm. It's the right thing to do, but the incursions patrol every access point. I think I just found an opening. Undertown is so... deserted. Where is everyone? Oh, right! Enemy occupation. Almost forgot. That incursion may lead us to the circuit drive we need. You won't escape me! Well, that crate over there looks kind of like galvanic tech, so I must be in the right place. Yep, this has definitely got to be the right place. Very good. Now, retrieve the circuit drive among the stolen cargo, and I'll meet you back on the surface. Gotcha! I'm on him! Tennyson Deliveries at your service. Please tell me you just needed the two parts. Just the two. I have already modified the energy source, so these should just snap together. Huh, naturally. So now what? Now for the easy part. You just need to activate this power decay transducer in the ship's main source of energy, which I have determined to be its incursion power core. Oh, yeah, simple. Emperor Milius' flagship is just outside of town. You should be able to use your incursion disguise to get close. Sounds like a plan. Too bad I can't just lock the bullfrag form into the Omnitrix. That would make this way easy. We can look into doing that when you get back. Good luck. Uh, it's me, remember? Ooh, I's gotta get this thing. To the power core. Greetings, Ben Tennyson. Hey, yeah, just like old times. You, me, in an alien closet. Once you activate the power decay transducer, you must get off the ship quickly. Got it. Get to power core, use device, run! Then, you need to take down the three security officers in this area to access the ship's power core. Each bridge leads to one of the security officers guarding the power core. You will need to defeat each one to access that part of the ship. Yeah, yeah. I think I have a handle on this. These guys are a little different. They have some sort of incursion incendiary devices. So you're saying they're hot stuff? Anyone? Oh, come on, that was good! Accelerate! So, here it is, the power core. It's just you and me. And you guys. Accelerate! Where's the on switch? Huh, come to think of it, I don't think Azmuth told me how to use this thing. Meh. And that seems to have done... something. Time to get out of here! Remarkable. It's more out of control than I had thought possible. You didn't just throw the transducer into the power core, did you? <sighs> Never mind. 
With the power field collapsing this chaotically, it could cause permanent damage to the Omnitrix. You need to find a way off this ship. I'm getting lost in the dark here. How do I know the way to the hangar? I gotta get to the hangar! Transport! And it's firing up its engines! Dr. Psychoba's ship is preparing for takeoff. One way or another, you need to get on that ship. Really? Couldn't you guys just punch yourselves in the face and lie down so we can fast forward this scenario? Quick! I Don't mind if I do! Woohoo! What are you waiting for? Take off! Shoi! I do think something on the hall of the- I said take off! We can take care of our storage shortly. I have a Fly closer to that mutated wave big. I will use my mind control to swat our unwanted friend off the ship. Swell. Mission accomplished! Ben Tennyson. Hey, you there! What happened? I think that guy hit his head in the crash, but uh I got to be going, you know, back to my post and all. Fine, we'll take it from here. Be careful. There's some resistance fighters in this area. Hey! Get that big piece of rubble off of him! Don't fry this at home! Oops. What do you call that? Awesome? No, wait. Ultimate! I just bought that tent last week. You're in for it this time. Sorry, Grandpa Max. Oh, no big deal. Just gives me an excuse to visit the new sporting goods store when we get to town. Besides, that's what your allowance is for. I think six months worth or so should buy a really nice replacement. Mm. Maybe they'll have a grand opening tent set. Maybe something in the three to four months allowance range. Guess we won't be finding out anytime soon. Looks like it's parade day. No way we're getting past that crowd. Nice. Looks fun. Let's check it out. It sure doesn't look like they're having fun. Yeah, and I see why. Is this the most fun ever, or is it just me? Oh, right! It is just me! Your happiness should be just about sucked dry by now. I gotta stop him. He's stealing people's happiness. I'm not happy about you going up against Zombozo alone. Yeah, that might not be such a great idea. It must already be affecting you guys. Don't worry. I got this. Well, look who's here. Luckily, I'm ready for you this time. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Ha, I'd love to stick around for the fun, but I can't stand being around all these sad sacks. Take him, boys! Good work, Ben. But it looks like Zombozo got away. Yeah, and it looks like the townspeople are still down the dumps. Whatever Zombozo is doing to steal their happiness, he must still be doing it. How about you guys? You still happy? As much as we ever are when you're being all... you. Uh, now is not the time. Gwen, tell Ben what you found. Right. Well, I noticed that there are a bunch of weird devices around here. They look like some kind of transmitter or relay. <laughs> huh? What? Sorry. Science nap. You were saying? I was saying that these relays or transmitters are... <laughs> That they might be what Zombozo is using to suck away people's happiness. Huh? I mean, yeah, that's why I was so bored. I figured that out, like, forever ago. Uh-huh. Ben, why don't you try to track down Zombozo and maybe look into finding a way to stop all of this? But what about the happiness sucker? Won't it, you know, suck my happiness too? The watch should protect you. 
but I'm taking Gwen back to the rust bucket. We should be safe from the effects in there. I'll be fine. You guys better get as far away as you can. Good idea. I feel happier already. Hey, clown face! Step away from the happiness sucker! It's called a buzzkill battery. Yeah, that is better. Anyway, you're finished, Zombozo. Actually, I'm just getting started. I'm just gonna catch you, you know. You never give up, do you? Only on cleaning my room and that home. And this isn't either of those things. Right you are! It so happens you've dropped right into my favorite snare. The Wheel of Misfortune! You know I'm just gonna get out of your unnecessarily elaborate trap and kick your butt right. Ah, uh, not! Am too! Ah, uh, not, ah, uh, not! Am too, am too! Uh, uh, just... <sighs> Ben, you did it! Nice work, Ben. Piece of cake. Which, by the way, I could go for about now. Oh, almost forgot. Your tent problems are officially solved. And this one is way roomier than the old one. Thanks, Ben. I hope you've learned something from this. Yeah, next time I'll be more careful when I'm testing out a new power. I might end up hurting more than a tent. It was a pretty cool power, though. I know, right? Wonder if all my forms have an ultimate power like that. Let's figure that out. Later. That'll teach you, stupid. Oh, if you keep doing that, you're only gonna make it mad. If you want my advice, which uh, I uh, do uh, not. Yeah. Whatever. Just don't come crying to me when you get stung. After all the bad guys I've taken down, some of which are like a gazillion times the size of a bee, you should show some respect for my awesome moves. Ah! This seems like deja vu. Or deja vu. <laughs> but you really need to keep that ego in check, Ben. An inflated ego always gets in the way of success. Yeah, but this isn't about ego. It's about... Yeah! Bego. Ben! Aw, oh, come on. That's A-game pun material. Not worried about puns at the moment. Ooh. Little help? The bug gang. Don't worry, Gwen and Grandpa. What the... Before I introduce my next guest, me, let's have a big round of applause for... Oh, me! Boo! Boo! I'm having a really bad... Yay! We'll be right back. Oh, man. I gotta find that place and rescue Gwen and Grandpa Max. Yeah! Whoa! Um... <clears throat> to be or not to be! Boo! Boo! Jeez, tough room. No, you walking water balloon. It's just my room. I'm about to make history with the highest rated live show featuring an insectoid host ever produced. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to put a damper on your plans. Boo! Oh, I don't think so. I have a feeling my ratings will go through the roof when I put you through the roof. Bring it on, Bee Lady! No need to thank me, world, but you're welcome. Um, Ben, hate to break it to you, but when you two started fighting, the transmitter was destroyed. Oh man, then nobody saw it. We did, Ben, and you saved us, and all of these people. Right! All right, everyone. Selfie line forms to the right. No pushing and shoving. I'll make time for everybody. And it's what you do when nobody is watching and without expectation of a reward that's really important. Yeah. Sorry. Ego in check? Check. Guess we should call the police and pick up Queen Bee. Then we... I regret nothing! Whoa! This does not look good. I gotta do something to stop it. Not yet. We need to come up with a plan to deal with this. Let's get these people out of here and regroup at the campsite. I've never seen a storm this bad. Something's not right about this. It appeared too suddenly, and it's way too strong to be natural. Grandpa! Ben! I think I see somebody over that way. Come on, kids. They might need our help. 
guess we should have known. Our successful return to this world has been followed by an equally successful start to our new terraforming initiative. I would be ecstatic about this turn of events if I felt emotions, which I do not. So much for investigating what they're up to. Gotta love villains who monologue. Nothing left now but the beatdown. We should feel shame at revealing our plans in such a stereotypical manner and concern for the approaching alien. If we felt shame or fear, which we do not. Come on, Grandpa. No, the storm is too dangerous. Let's head back to the rust bucket. Ben can handle this. Aw, oh, man. I should have known this was too easy. Hey, big guy. How's the weather up there? Your pun would lack humor, even if that were something I could appreciate. And I, Weatherhead Prime, would be filled with rage at your meddling if I felt rage, which... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which you don't. I think you guys have pretty much beaten that into the ground at this point. No, the beating into the ground commences now! Oh boy. Cannot compensate for gravity and momentum. Plot ending collision imminent. Yeah! Oh no! Ben! I don't see him. Do you see him? Ben! Somebody call for a hero. Ow! What was that for? For scaring us, that's what. So, um, don't do that again. We're just glad you're all right. All right? I was like super awesome. I was all like, bam! And giant robot guy was like, Rah! Then he was all like, I don't feel feelings. And I was like, bet you'll feel this! And then there's nothing we can do to shut you up, is there? Nope. <sighs> all right. You were saying? Where was I? Oh, yeah. So I was like, you'll feel this. And he was like, boosh. <laughs>